So yesterday I did two live streams that were like three hours long. One was about uh, Mitchell Crooks, Mystery Stuff at Theater, Garth Nader, a million other sock accounts where he uses those sock accounts to harass people. Um, I talked about that. Had some fun after that for like two and a half hours. Great stream. Go check it out. It is what it is. Tried to go to sleep. Woke up. He was live streaming that live stream. So I sparked up my live stream, gave him the old Josh Lanto treatment, was covering that. And then again, for two hours and 40 minutes, had a great live stream, talked about some fishing nonsense with people, talked about the military, watched some auditing videos. Again, great times. Um, and then I got up around 10 o'clock and woke up to this nonsense. So I woke up to this email at about 10, 15, 10, 20, I went to bed at probably seven. So I was already having a great morning. Um, I received a copyright strike or a copyright infringement notification regarding my second live stream. Um, but YouTube thankfully believed that my content is protected under fair use, fair dealing, and similar exceptions to the copyright protection. And they are writing to let me know that we did not remove your video at this time. And the second one here, hi, mistaken break in. That's, I don't know his name for some reason. Um, they are concerned that his copyright notification may not be valid for the videos listed. Uh, please keep in mind that in many countries it is legal to use copyrighted works in specific ways without the owner's authorization. Obviously. And then we'll talk about what he wrote to them. He restreamed my content. I had to end my live stream because I was informed that this person was taking my content and making money off of my work. If I cannot stream content without being a monetized channel taking it for themselves, what is the point? He added nothing but to steal my outright live stream, Mitchell Crooks. Um, yes, I'll show you here in a second. It's also in this live stream. I put the thumbnail up at the top so you guys know what to look for. This kid stole my first live stream, downloaded it off of YouTube, uploaded it to a page called BitChute. Not quite sure how that works yet and then restreamed my live stream from BitChute, trying to pass it off as his own content. So in reality, he says he restreamed my content. In reality, I was restreaming my own content, my own live stream for a few minutes, and then he jumped to a video that I made, and we watched that. So two instances of me restreaming my own content, he knowingly lied to YouTube saying that I was restreaming his content and had to end his live stream because uh, I was taking his content and making money off of it. Um, I was replaying my own content, so that's false. Um, he was scared that he was being exposed live, just like I used to do with Josh, just like I used to do with Jeremiah. I was correcting him in real time. But the problem is he was just playing my videos, so I just restreamed my own content. So this nonsense needs to stop. I'm not asking for the PayPal patty treatment, which I, that's what we do to people like this for auditors and sovereign citizens who do this type of stuff, which he's in the drama community, which is as close to the frauding community as you can possibly get. At this point, they're circling the wagons around broken system, broken trust of all people. Not exactly who I would choose to be on my side. But yes, uh, now we're going to jump to my live stream where I actually covered myself. And we'll talk about that for a second. All right, so this is where Mitchell thinks he's being clever, where he took my video, uploaded it to BitChute under one of his accounts, and that's where he's streaming from. Um, so obviously, I'm streaming my own content at that point. All right, so you see he's restreaming my video. He restreamed my live stream in the first clip, and this clip, he's on my YouTube page replaying my video but then thought it was a good idea to try to claim those two pieces of content as his own. Uh, YouTube caught it, thankfully. Also, shout out to you, Mitchell Crooks, for watching the ad at the beginning of this video. I appreciate the point two cents. But yeah, you have this guy doing this for views. He's trying to play victim for views. I said he was going to do this. Uh, Kfar Damas, if you will. It's going to be my new name. He's just trying to do this for views. He's going to try to play the sympathy card. It's not going to work. You tried to steal my content, replay it as your own, and then had the balls to strike me for it, or attempt to strike, and then gave the most bullshit. He stole my content, so I had to stop streaming. No, it's because you were embarrassed you were getting exposed. It is what it is, Mitchell. Again, I don't want the PayPal patty treatment for this guy. Don't go harass this guy. 
It's not like Sean Paul Reyes. I'm not saying don't harass him. No, seriously, don't harass him. He's literally not worth it. Uh, if you guys want to share this video, share it, mirror it. I don't care. Just don't go harass this guy because he's that's what he wants. He wants to say, oh, they're being mean to Mitchell. They're bullying Mitchell. He reported the video he's watching for bullying, simply for telling the truth about him and his behavior. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good rest of your day. Don't be Mitchell. Peace. Well, bye.